All right, guys, welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Can you believe it, man? The summer's gone. It is fall 2022. I'm going to go down the list of excuses why you haven't seen much of me. But before I do that, I want to thank you subscribers for hanging with me. That's number one. Number two is if you're not a subscriber, you might, you might want to subscribe because what's coming up in the fall of 2022 and all the way into 2023 is going to be really intense. So that, that is my apology. Um, I, the list of excuses, I'm building a fly shop for a guy. And uh, it's in Port Isabel, Texas. It's named Los Pescadores Coffee and Outfitters in downtown Port Isabel, Texas, which is 563 miles from where I'm sitting right now. So that gives you an idea of the, uh, of the level of intensity of that little project. Um, I should be there. I will be there starting in October and reporting the Texas Flycaster whatever persona from there in the lower Laguna Madre from South Padre Island in Port Isabel, Texas. And this is going to be the craziest, wildest time in the 60 year old person's life that you can ever imagine. I cannot believe that, um, you know, my wife says I'm excited. I guess it may sound that way too. I don't know. But uh, mostly scared actually about this little project. It's a uh, it's a it's a way out on a limb. It's a long ways from what I used to call home. Actually going back home to Port Isabel, and uh, actually the valley. I grew up in the valley, but Port Isabel, South Padre Island, especially South Padre Island, were my stomping grounds. Of course, there's Aurora, Colorado. There's all kinds of. There's just so much to do down there. To do down there, guys, that I can hardly get it spit it out. But um, this is, a, this is an opportunity for me to uh, do one, one last hoorah, maybe. I don't know if it's the last hoorah or not. I'm probably going to get a novel out of this, too. <laughs> Follow my writing, www.texasflycaster.com. If you read, you might enjoy some of the writing there, and I guarantee you, you're going to find things. It's uh, 15 years old now, that, that, that uh, website, and it's pretty heavily loaded. Just hit the search on there, and you can find all kinds of stories about all kinds of things. But obviously... I focus from where I am and outwards and uh, you know among the other excuses I have a lot of focusing to do brand new cameras brand new audio all kinds of things going in that direction um, trying new ways of mounting cameras it's intense people it's just intense my phone beeps all the time I don't like that I don't like it turn the beeper off so anyway let me tell you all about the Los Pescadores. It's in downtown Port Isabel. It is in the shadow of the lighthouse. It will be a coffee shop with high-end, uh, high-quality coffee. We have applied for our liquor license to sell high-end quality alcohol and unusual imbibations at that location. Uh, super exciting. I've ordered a lot of, uh, I've spent a lot of this guy's money already on, on fly gear, you know. It's an Outfitters. We're going we're gonna to send out guides, or, or lead, not send them out, we'll refer guides that are local. Um, for you guys that are coming in, South Padre Island, Port Isabel is a destination. Make no bones about it, and it is a fine destination. We can see SpaceX, SpaceX launches from our front door. So if you're a space junkie, like I used to be as a kid and kind of still am, you know, like, like the cosmos, you got a place to go. So anyway, lines that we're getting down there are kind of the usual suspects. A little bit, of, I try to get off a little bit onto, onto things that maybe people haven't seen as much of, frog hair, leaders, lines, leaders, um, and tippet, and some other accessories from frog hair. I think those guys are going to be really good for us down there. We're starting with TFO um, as the bottom end or middle end, whatever you want to call it. The, the accessible rod, we'll go to Thomas and Thomas and we might go see if we can go to Hardy as well. Going to carry the typical weights for a destination. We are not sending people to places, we are bringing them to us. So that means we're going to go from about 6 to 12 weights. We're going to go with uh, Galvan reels. I call it Galvan because that's the way I grew up around a bunch of Galvans. And so it's Galvan reels, maybe it's Galvin or whatever you want to call it. 
but I like those reels. I like the price point, and I do like the fact that they have the sealed drag on the upper end, and that is very important. You gotta remember, the Lower Laguna Madre is hypersaline. It is one of the most salty water bodies in the world. So we're gonna get tested hard. Of course, that takes me to another thing that's occupying my time, and that is the skiff, getting it ready to go. Um, geez Louise, it's gotta be saltified, you know? salt approved so there's a lot that goes on with that I've got a leak in the lower unit a little bit of oil on the ground anybody know what that might be I've already replaced myself the the seal the the shaft seals and that didn't that did it for a little while and then it started leaking again so I'm not sure what's up with that bad seal I don't know uh, should be should be not that anymore <laughs> I don't have a clue people that's just another thing on the list we're also you know for low specs good orders we're gonna have the uh, the best coffee machines balanced and uh, filtered water that goes into them. We're going to have some uh, ice, ice brew coffee and a nitro brew ice coffee. And I've tasted that stuff. If you like Guinness, you will like this, this nitro. It's really awesome, guys. I mean, so it's a pretty, pretty big task. I'm also doing all the floor plans, electrical and the drawings for this and uh, trying to find the furniture and everything that goes in. We're gonna have art in there from artists that I know of and probably some I don't even know. We'll just see how that all turns out. Inside the store, lots of, not a lot, but we're gonna have clothing for the uh, outdoor person. We're gonna have um, coffee, what I call coffee teas, coffee t-shirts, all kinds of uh, coffee to buy and accessories as well. Wow, what a self-promotion. What a shameless, shameless, shameless self-promotion of that place. Anyway, that's why things are so intense. That's why I've been uh, rather unavailable for videos. Again, I thank you subscribers for all your years. If you've been a long-term, if you're a short-term, I appreciate you. And I really wanna just tell you that this is the calm before the storm or the, or the bore before the storm of South Padre Island, Lower Laguna Madre. Brownsville Ship Channel, Arroyo, Colorado, Port Mansfield, that's all within reach within a month. I'll be there in a month, people, in October. So come hell or high water, I'm gonna go down there. And if hell comes, I'm still gonna be down there for a little while longer, just burning up. But anyway, that's that. Your local fishing reports can be found at the uh, TPWD. Just, just subscribe to that stuff and, and download it. I, I, I just be, have begun to hate it because it's, it's so shamelessly self-promoting now with uh, guides, information, and all kinds of stuff that, that the state of Texas shouldn't be involved in, but they are, so whatever, you know. Eventually, it'll bite them in the butt, and then I can say I told you so. But that's that. Um, I have seen photos in the past week from the Lower Laguna Madre. They include gator trout, redfish, and the ever more desirable Texas snook. Snooky, snooky. We got snooky now. So those snook, saw one hooked when I was down there a few weeks ago, and uh, he, he threw it through that... Um, big fat lure out, but they're snook, man. They're snook. And I've got more information on more fish than you got. It's just, it boggles my mind. It really does. My mind is boggled and I'm not even there yet. You know, a lot of these guys are conventional guys. It's just so much easier. Of course, we, we don't go the easy way. It's like Ben Christensen says, now do it on a fly. And that's, that's, my, that's my philosophy. Now you do it on a fly. See how that works out for you. So Ben sent one picture of, of uh, some snook. Man, I mean, monster now. That long. It was a big, big fish. So guys, hang in there. We're going to get there. I'm sorry that it's been so long. I know you guys are, are uh, interested in uh, what goes on in Texas and fly fishing, but we're getting ready to shift from one end of the state all the way down to the other end of the state, people. Or is it like this? I don't know. Anyway, it is a big shift for me. I'm having to pack my stuff. I'm literally moving down there. I'm having to decide what to take, what to leave behind, how many trips to make. 
a trip is 563 miles one way. You guys, you know, do a little addition and you get up with, like, what, 1,100 miles on a round trip. So you better make sure you get it right. <laughs> you don't want to be doing too many of those. But if you guys want to come down, I've got you set up. I've got everything just perfectly lined, perfectly lined up so that you can come down, have a place to stay, have a guide, not me, and uh, catch some fish. Thanks for watching. I want you to have a great, I don't know when it's going to be again. You know, it's, I'm super busy with this. Um, a few slides of uh, the Los Pescadores at the end of this and the location just to give you an idea of where I'm going to be spending a lot of time for, a, for who knows how long, years, um, possibly, probably, uh, getting this baby to fly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, texasflycaster.com. And we're going to build a channel. You know who we is. We is always me for Los Pescadores. So look for that sometime. There's, I don't think there's anything on it right now. But you know what? We're going to be crossing over like this from Texas Flycaster to Los Pescadores. And it's, it's, it'll be unique content on there that focuses on a lot more cultural stuff on those pesky orders because there is so much going on. All right, guys. Thanks. Over, done, and out.